Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to my craft room. So this is actually the second video of this morning and happy November 1st. It is holiday season, so it is definitely craft time. So the first video that we did this morning is videos on doing cups with the tacky glue method, but it's using the new turbo tacky glue that's supposed to dry 50% faster. So when I do the tacky glue method, there's lots of different ways to do it. And I, um, I do both ways. Really, it just depends on my mood. I myself don't have a preference between the two. I feel like they both work just fine. So the first cup I put on the tacky glue, I let the glue dry and then I put on the glitter. And then on this one, I put on the tacky glue, put the glitter on immediately and let it dry and then burnished it. So this one, I did a grandma cup. So this is for one of my friends who is a new grandma for the first time. Obviously the baby's a girl. You can see that the glitter looks very nice. It's a very light pink glitter so it's a little difficult to get the coverage the way that you want it sometimes with those lighter colors. The other thing I want to show you is if you see I also did a Mod Podge of, uh, not a Mod Podge, a decoupage of the baby on there. And so that is actually with a laser printer. So that's just on regular printer paper. I do have a video on how to do this if you're interested. It's already on my website or on my channel. And this cup turned out so super cute super super cute I'm really happy with it now the one thing I did try also a little different with this particular cup is I've seen on some videos where sometimes people will say that with the tacky glue method they they don't have to seal their glitter to in order to put the um, resin on, which that is is true. Sometimes I seal it and sometimes I don't. That's it perfectly fine um, either way. Just again, honestly, sometimes it depends on my mood. And if I think about it, I seal it. I like to seal it with Mod Podge. If I don't think about it, I don't do it so it really does work either way however the other thing is I've seen people say that you don't even have to put a layer of resin first you can just put your decal on and then do one layer of resin well I tried that so I'm gonna tell you this actually has a layer of resin decal and then another layer of resin resin epoxy I mean, I use them interchangeable because they're the same thing. So anyways, I tried to do this without resin. And let me tell you, I finally gave up. I had the hardest time. I couldn't get it to stick. I wasted vinyl. And every time I get a piece on, another piece would come up and it was really difficult. I wasted probably about an hour trying to do it that way as well as wasting the vinyl. So I finally gave up. I didn't even make it to the back side. I just took off what I had, put on resin, and did it this way. So if it works for you, great. It didn't work for me. And if it's not something you normally do, I probably wouldn't even waste the time to try and do it unless it was something you wanted to perfect. All right, so we will get to making this cup. Oh, and if I didn't already tell you, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. 
I am just trying to get my channel started so that I can bring videos to you guys. I know that throughout my years of doing crafts since YouTube has started, I've been very grateful to have videos available. And, you know, I do so much stuff that, you know, I'd like to be able to maybe give some videos to inspire people who need a little bit of inspiration because when I need inspiration, I'm so grateful to have them there. So let's get started. So this is the Elaine's Tacky Glue, the Turbo. Mix it with some water to like a pancake batter consistency. Don't get too hung up on it. It's gonna dry and work. And then after it, um, I put the glitter on, I let that dry for about eight minutes and then I went on and burnished it. You could see I did still have some areas that were a little bit tacky. So just take your finger and kind of tap those in. And then once it's, once you're done burnishing it in, use your sponge or your pouncing sponge and just push another layer of glue in make sure you don't wipe it because you don't want to do it like a paintbrush you want to take it and actually push that glitter in really well and then put on your next coat you do the same thing with your glitter once it's dry you burnish it all in again very nicely so this technique as you can see makes such a beautiful cup the goal is to lay your glitter down very flat on the cup. When the glitter lays flat, the shine really comes out. And you don't use a lot of glitter with this. It just really makes for a beautiful cup. Make sure that you're putting the freezer paper underneath when you put your glitter on. That way you can save the glitter that you don't need. Now when I'm burnishing it, I use a separate piece of paper and I put it into a different glitter pile because I don't want anything with glue going in my good glitter. So after this dries completely, I'll put it on the spinner with a thin coat of resin or epoxy and then I'll put my decals and then I'll put a nice thick coat of epoxy. So this is a beautiful cup. I hope you've enjoyed it. Oh, and the red cup on there, that's my red solo cup. I cut off the top stick it in there gives me a way to hold my cup when i'm going all the way to the bottom i can st still stick my hand in there but i also have something to hold on to and it makes a good stand if i need to set it down so again as you can see this glitter just looks so beautiful when you put it on this way so anyways i hope that you enjoy this video it gives you some inspiration if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Have a beautiful day. Bye.